Hey everybody, it is Saturday. That means we're down at the Imagination Station. I have Carl Nelson here and once again, safety glasses. Safety glasses, Safety yes. first, got it. What are we doing today? We're gonna to talk about a phenomenon called fire tornadoes. Never heard of it, okay. okay. So what can happen in a fire is that uh, based on the, the ground, the shape of the ground, oh, sure. you can get sort of a swirling vortex of wind forming, okay. which can create what's called a fire tornado. Um, and we're gonna to try to recreate one here. What we have is a Lazy Susan mm -hmm. that can spin and this fine mesh trash can around it. Deep inside, there's a crucible filled with some cotton balls that I've soaked with lighter fluid. Okay, so we're gonna highly just, flammable then, yeah, is what you're yes. getting at. Well, let's, okay. well, let's see, we'll light it on fire here. So, okay, okay. so you got a little flame there, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's, it's kind of big, it's kind of nice, but it doesn't really look like a fire tornado. So what I want you to do is slowly spin the carousel and when we do that, oh. we drag air molecules around, yeah. creating that sort of vortex effect. Yeah. And in fact, so that, that's pretty cool. You know, yeah, that's pretty cool. Feet. You're but seeing it spin. You're seeing it spin, but we could actually make it a little bit bigger by adding another trash can on top. Really? Okay. So now we have more of that mesh to, to swoosh the wind around with. And Whoa. if you spin it a little bit faster, you can actually see we get a, a fairly appreciable yeah. sized vortex of fire. And it won't vortex outside of the, the mesh? Well, it is a little bit. A little? I mean, it okay. just all depends on how fast you spin it. Sure. So give it this plastic tube. All right, so same, same thing. Deal. Cotton yeah. balls filled with lighter fluid or so soaked. We'll just put them inside here. And you know, not too surprising, what you get is not too exciting. It's just a Kind flame. of what we see here, sure. Well, watch this, if you offset the two pieces of plastic ever so slightly. What? Wow. Now the air, because it's hot, is moving upward, and that slight break is causing the air to move in a vortex. If we move it back so that there is no break, mm -hmm. if I can do it without getting burned here, you can see the tornado oh, it goes down dies here. down. Yeah. But just a slight offset. And that's just because of the way that the air is traveling through? Yeah. It, it, you know, so we have things like this, and then we offset it. Yeah. The air comes in because hot air is rising. Cool air is coming in and swishing around. Now, if you do it too far apart, it still okay. kind of works, but not, sure. not as dramatic as just a, yeah. just a teeny tiny little crack works amazingly well. That hot air rises, cool air comes in, spins around, and you get and, fire tornado. And in real life, where would we see something like this? Is this something that you're seeing at a campfire or something like that, or not exactly? Well, in forest fires, what happens is sometimes the the the, canop the, uh, the ground catches fire. Mm -hmm. Because of the topography of the ground, sometimes you'll get this sort of offset, and it'll spin into a, a tornado, which then will reach up to the canopy of the forest. Oh. And so now you're not only fighting a fire on the ground, but you're fighting one that's jumping from the tops of the trees to tops of trees. Okay. So it, it makes fighting the fire much more difficult. Sure. Do. Sure. Um, and it's all simply because of, you know, just a little bit of it in here, just a little bit of an offset. You can, wow. Can dramatic. And it can, it raises it back up very, very quickly. quickly. Yep, absolutely. Wow, so. that is so cool to be able to see something so simple. Really show you what's going on. Our uh, cotton balls are burning out on this one, so our yep. tornado is getting smaller. You can, you can manually but. drag the air around, or you can let the air do the work by itself. That is so cool. Wow, the power of fire and the science behind it. Carl, thanks so much for joining us sure. here on this Saturday. And, of course, it is Saturday. That means Lucas County adults, if they come down to the Imagination Station and pay for admission, they can bring in a child for free. And that's how you imagine it.